ready? Come on, say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. <laughs> hi guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a very, very long time, but um, we are actually gonna be making Christmas cookies today. Uh, gingerbread cookies, to be exact. And I have my tiny little helper today who's already making a mess. So we're gonna just get right into this video. And I am gonna be kneeling to her level because she's sitting on a little chair to keep her here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you uh, get the chance to make these cookies with your family. Um, we're gonna try to attempt to make these cookies today and also try to decorate so you guys can see how we do that. So again, I hope you enjoy this video and please keep watching. So I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients that we're gonna, we're gonna be using first. So first we have some softened butter and I'm just gonna move everything over here. Okay, so I did leave this butter overnight on my counter and I, I just left it out last night and then we're using it tonight, today, early in the morning, so it's not left out for very, very long. And then we also have one egg with vanilla and we have this gingerbread spice. Hold on, baby. We have this gingerbread spice, which is about four different spices, I believe, inside this jar. And then we have some white um, vinegar. You can also use apple cider if that's what you have. Either one works. And we have some brown sugar. Half the sugar is already on the counter, but we'll make it work. Oh my goodness, Eva. And then we have some molasses here. You just want to make sure that you're not using blackstrap molasses. Um, this brand can be found anywhere, like at any grocery store. So if you see this one, grab this one. And then we have our flour mixture here with baking soda and salt. So yeah, that's in here. I will be leaving the recipe down below so you guys can make this recipe at home. Okay. It's very, very easy to uh, follow the recipe. So yeah, I'll make sure to input that down below. So let's get started. Ready? Okay, so now we're gonna cream this sugar for about two minutes. You just wanna make sure it's nice and fluffy. Okay, we're gonna turn it on, okay? Scrape down the sides. As you can see, there are some little chunks of butter in here. We scrape it down, and then you can just turn it on and remix for another two minutes. You're not gonna fall. Okay, now we're gonna add our egg mixture with vanilla. You wanna put it? Okay, go, you do it. Hold it. Ready? Good girl. Thank you for the commentary. And now we're gonna add our um, apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, whatever you, you use. Ready? You wanna do it or me? And then we're gonna just turn it on and whip it up for a second. Okay, so you never want to over mix your batter. You just want to just mix it until it's like thoroughly mixed. Or not even thoroughly, just until the item is just mixed in. Okay, I'm gonna scoot you over a little bit. So grab a napkin and I'm gonna put my napkin here just so if in case anything spills over. And you're just gonna add one cup of this molasses. Now we're gonna put this into our mix. Ready? Look it. Okay, we're gonna add our uh, gingerbread spice into the mixer now. Add everything, and then we're gonna add the flour little by little. So I'm gonna just grab a clean measuring cup. We love the commentary. Want to see this, right? People want to see you. 
you. He's making sure he doesn't spill. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we turn it on after you put all this into here. We're going to turn it on. So how about we do a little shortcut? We just throw that bucket in here, that bowl in here. Okay, go almost there. Yay. Okay, so you basically don't want to over mix your dough. You just want to mix it until the sides are, like the yeah. mixture comes off from the sides, if that makes any sense, but I'll show you. This is what I mean when I say that the mixture comes off from the side. So you see how there's a lot of dough on this side, still on the side of the bowl, and this side it's already a little bit cleaned up. So you want to aim for that side. So, um, this dough is not sticking to my fingers anymore. As you can see, I don't have anything on my fingers, so that's how you know your dough is done. Okay guys, so like I said, you want to roll out your, I mean, uh, package your dough in some plastic wrap like I did here. So our dough was already refrigerated for about an hour. Okay, so you can add flour to your surface if you'd like, but I personally like to wrap it in between two pieces of parchment paper and then roll it out. Um, because the more flour that you add to your dough, the drier your cookie comes out. So obviously we want to try to prevent that, so that's why. But for the sake of this purpose, because it is just for um, Isla and I, we are going to be doing it here on our surface. So I'm just going to wipe this down and then um, we'll start rolling out the cookies. Okay guys? Alright guys, so... Cookies! <laughs> she's saying safeties. Okay, we already cleaned off our surface. Now we are going to roll out the cookies, which in my opinion, opinion it's the fun part. All right, so let's add a little bit of flour. So for this part, you're gonna use any cookie cutters that you wanna use, but obviously since we are making gingerbread dough, we are making a little gingerbread man and a Christmas tree. Do you wanna make cookies? Okay, we're gonna just put flour on both sides of the dough. Go ahead, you do it. She knows what she's doing, guys, so no need to help. You got it? Okay, mommy help you, okay? Good girl. Wow, you're good at this, mama. You wanna roll it out to a quarter of an inch? All right, go ahead. Look, press it down all the way like this. Hard. Press. Good girl. No. No? Okay, now here's your cookie. Okay, Christmas tree. Yay! Okay, now we're gonna put our Christmas tree here, okay? Can you show the people? Show me. This is Isa's gingerbread. Good girl. Gingerbread. Gingerbread. This is how our cookies came out. This is Isa's gingerbread man over here that she worked really hard on, huh, Mama? These are her little scraps that she wanted to put in. She's still going, so I'm gonna put these cookies in the oven. Careful, Mommy. We're gonna put these cookies up in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes, so we're gonna put them in at 350, and then we will come back to decorate. Look at your cookies. You like it? Well, the cookies are out of the oven. I actually ended up putting them for seven minutes because it started just to get a little golden brown on the sides. <gasps> wow, you see how pretty and fluffy they come out? Isa's gingerbreads over here and her little Christmas tree that she made. Oh, they're so beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna put them on here. I'm gonna 
place them onto the table because that way they can chill. All right, so we're just gonna use some uh, regular royal icing that I made. Um, recipe is super easy. You can find the recipe online anywhere. Uh, I just made some red and white and green, and you also want to make sure that it's a thick consistency. Okay, Isa's ready to go. And then I have these three sprinkles that I got. We're just gonna use these red pearls for the gingerbread, and then some little sugar crystals as well. You can use anything you'd like to decorate your cookies, but we chose these. Wow, let's see. Yeah, good girl. You want some sprinkles? This is mommy's. This is mommy's gingerbread. This one's yours. Okay, perfect. Okay, look at the gingerbread. Let's make a gingerbread man. enjoy these moments that I get to bake with my baby at home. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you make these cookies, please let me know and comment down below if you enjoyed making these with your family. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.